I've been flying for a dozen years now, starting with the U-2s in the U.S. Air Force, and then uh, I came over to NASA to fly the ER-2. We fly the uh, ER-2 and the U-2, for that matter, so high that we're above Armstrong's line, which is roughly 64,000 feet. But if for some reason we lost that pressurization, let's say the canopy blew off and we're exposed to the atmosphere at that altitude, our blood would start to boil, our bodily fluids would all boil, the saliva in our mouths would start to sizzle and boil off, and um, uh, we wouldn't last very long if that happened. And what the pressure suit is there for is to catch our bodies at roughly 35,000 feet. So if we lose all the um, pressure in the aircraft, the, the suit actually ex would expand like a balloon, become almost rigid, you know, and we'd be inside it at 30, uh, the equivalent of 35,000 feet altitude. And it's pretty stiff. I mean, just, just the act of reaching down to grab the flight controls or to move the throttle takes a lot of effort. So it's a lot of, uh, a lot of force against the, the suit. There is a lot of maintenance into it. It's a life support equipment. Everything is pre-flighted. The suit's inflated. We check the oxygen pressure. We check the regulator. We check the leak rate in the suit. Then after we put the pilot in the suit, we go through the same procedure and check all of those parameters again. The philosophy is everything else can fail, this can't. The suit is made to um, give us just enough mobility in the cockpit to come back down from altitude to more normal pressures and a safer zone um, to come back and land. I've been fortunate. I haven't had a loss of cabin pressure. I have friends that have, and the suit saved their lives. The text that day, the suit had up, saved their lives. I think everybody has a little bit of claustrophobia. And it's usually when it's hot outside and I've just climbed in the uh, aircraft and I'm out breathing the, uh, the capability of the little portable oxygen units we have and I, and I find myself feeling like I'm suffocating. I have about 10 seconds every year where I, I, if I want to scream and, and get the helmet off and the suit off as quickly as I can, but I know how to power through that. We can drink. In flight, we all take water, and uh, I take food. Not everyone takes food up, but I do. I take a lot of food with me. And we uh, connect the tube to a food tube or to a water bottle, put the tube through the hole, and that points right at our mouth inside the helmet. Uh, keep in mind, when we're flying, this helmet's closed up like that and remains closed, so we, we can't open up to eat a chocolate bar or whatever, so everything has to be pretty much pureed or liquid. Getting used to the uh, to flying in the spacesuit with a helmet on took months. Dexterity of boxing gloves and a helmet, can't scratch your face, you're sweating, it's hot. When I, I can't move at all in the cockpit, I have no room to, to move very much at all. My knees are hitting the, the instrument panel, my helmet's hitting the canopy, my arms are hitting the sides of the, uh, of the cockpit. Oh, I love flying this plane. Sometimes I inflate the suit and just sit there. I'll sit there for hours if everything's running smoothly and just scan the mission.